Hi everyone, so the new journal impact factors have been released um, by Clarivate. So for those of you who do not understand what are impact factors, it's basically a metric which tells how impactful the research that is published in a journal is. Okay, it is just one of the metrics that uh, you can utilize to basically understand the reputation or the impact a journal has on research. So um, I mean it's a simple metric those of you who are not aware of it you can just maybe google about it and you will get to know now what you can derive from this year's impact factor and what are some updates so this is for the first time that you know more than seven journals as you can see over here have an impact factor of greater than 100 and one of the drivers which has uh, led to this increase in the impact factor is a lot of publications related to COVID-19. So most of these journals have published um, articles heavily related to COVID-19, which has led to dramatic increase in the impact factor. Apart from that, there is a general increase that has been seen in the impact factors. And the reason behind that is simple that uh, a lot of review articles have been published. And when review articles are sort of written, they have a lot a, a heavy number of citations so in general it has been seen that most of the article most of the journals have seen an increase in the impact factor and th this is a, I, I believe that that's my personal opinion that this is a very artificial increase uh, that has been seen and uh, the impact factors are definitely going to crash once the pandemic fades away now why I wanted to make this video uh, is to tell you about a couple of things firstly it is um, quite uh, I would say sad to see that impact factors have become like an academic currency and because of that you would see that the quality of articles that have been uh, been publishing uh, have consistently plummeted or decreased in its uh, you know value so people are writing scientists are just writing art research articles uh, you know in journals getting some uh, you know some sort of uh, high impact journals uh, like writing publications in high impact journals but uh, what i have personally seen is that that is not really adding value in terms of you know advancement in science i uh, like i cannot say in general but that is what i observed that majority of the articles that i see even in good journals they are not really advancing science it's just something that has been done and then published and uh, I cannot blame the researchers and scientists as well because that is like I mentioned that publications have become like a currency so they need to publish very very often and in, in you know good impact journals otherwise they might not get funding so overall the the kind of environment that we are going towards uh, in terms of sciences is not something that I'm very uh, you know uh, I'm, I'm like optimistic about I, I think the quality of research is definitely going down because we're in, in you know uh, we are giving incentives or in incentivizing these kind of um, metrics. Anyhow, uh, that is enough of criticism about the research. And now let me tell you this, uh, that how, why you cannot just rely on impact factor. OK, now uh, I, I thought I, uh, I had made some, you know, articles. Uh, sorry, I had made some videos wherein I spoke about how you cannot really compare different fields by impact factor. And I'll just show you one. Uh, like one live example so let me just show you some journals in the field of materials chemistry okay or material chemistry i'll just check it out one second so let's see some journals in the field of material chemistry right so if you see over here journal of material chemistry b the impact factor is 7.5 okay now let me go to journal of material chemistry a the impact factor is 14 okay uh, so let me just see some other journals okay let's go to journal of material chemistry c uh, the impact factor is 8.5 around eight okay so you can see that majority of journals in material chemistry are quite uh have quite quite a high impact factor and these are not the topmost journals so in fact if i go for the topmost journal which is like like one of the topmost journals like advanced materials so it has an impact factor of around 32 yes you can see that it has its impact factor is 32 so you can understand that material the journals in the field of material chemistry have a very very high impact factor okay but if i talk about the top journal let's say in the field of medicinal chemistry that is journal of medicinal chemistry so over here you will find that the impact factor of journal of medicinal chemistry now it has arisen a lot it has become eight but before the pandemic it was around five 
and uh, i think this is going to go down because once the pandemic fades away you will see that the impact factor will basically uh, this is a, i feel this is a bloated impact factor and it is definitely going to go down once the pandemic fades away so it ha- before the pandemic hit it had an impact factor around 5 so you can understand that the top journals in material chemistry would have an impact factor of 20 25 whereas the top most journal in medicinal chemistry has an impact of 8 impact factor of 8 so that is why when you have to also uh, you know focus on the field of research you cannot just look at the impact factors okay the field of research is very very important when you are looking at the impact factors uh, one more example i would like to give you so okay so medicinal chemistry still at 8 now let me give you an example of uh, journals in the computational chemistry field so the one that is actually doing really well is uh, journal of chemical information and modeling which is published by uh, american chemical society so chemical information and modeling you can see its impact factors around 6 this has also drastically increased uh, increased in the last 2 years because of a lot of research uh, being published in the field of artificial intelligence and apart from that they are also publishing uh, you know in the field of covid-19 like a lot of articles are published on sars-cov-2 so again this is why i think the impact factor has drastically increased even for this um, the impact factor in the year 2019 was around 3.9 or 4 not very high it's only because of the pandemic that i can see that it's, it has its impact factor has gone above 6 but generally it was around 4 and this is one of the top most journals in the field of computational chemistry okay another another uh, journal in this field is uh, chemical theory um, that also you can see has a impact factor of around 6 yeah journal of chemical theory and competition 6.5 and then one one more journal is there chemo informatics uh chem informatics uh let me see what's its impact factor is i have actually haven't checked so chem informatics is uh 8.4 so this has also sup- like drastically increased because you can uh, imagine that um in the last two years because uh, the uh, the labs were shut or due to the lockdown Uh, most of the researchers were either focusing on uh, review articles writing review articles or they were you know working on their laptops and trying to gain some uh, knowledge in the field of chemo chem informatics or computational chemistry so i remember chemo informatics also a couple of years back before the pandemic hit had an impact factor of around 5 so you can understand that uh, the whole point of discussion is first of all some of the impact factors have been severely bloated due to the uh, work that is being cited in the field of uh, covid-19 and secondly uh, we you can see that you can like impact factor is not a very fair comparison especially when you are comparing different fields uh also yes one more thing that i wanted to talk about is self stacking so over here they have mentioned that they have actually suppressed the impact factor of se- some journals which were in- which were involved in you know self citation and self stacking so what exactly is self stacking i am not sure they should have mentioned it stacking one second let me just check quickly yeah upholding research integrity and new type of citation distortion okay so uh, what is self citation is that if a journal let's say uh, publishes an, an article the editors of the journal or the reviewers of the journal what they will try and do is they will make you cite articles from their journal only so let's say you are publishing in some journal x they will make you cite the articles of that journal x that will lead to increase in the impact factor so that was one type of uh, you can say um, malpractice that the journals were doing the second kind of uh, uh, practice that they found uh, which is unethical is self stacking so what is self stacking is now these journals you have to understand are published by some publisher like there are publishers like nature uh, then there are publishers like science uh, american chemical society royal society of chemistry taylor and francis elsevier right there these are the publishers springer so what happens is that uh, what is self stacking is that the under the same publisher okay so let's say the publisher is i can't name the publisher otherwise you know there might be an issue so let's say there's some publisher x which publishes five journals so what these publishers have started doing is they will make the citation among their own journals okay so this x publisher which has five journals what it is going to do is to impact uh, to basically uh, not come under the scrutiny of self citation so instead of citing the same journal what it will make the editor, editors do or the researchers do is cite the j- journals which come under the same publisher so overall you what you will find is that all the journals under the publisher will in, have an increase in the impact factor so that is a new kind of 
you can say distortion that was being carried out by publishers or journals so so some journals which they found through their analysis were engaging in self citation or stacking they have been basically suppressed from the uh, from this uh, impact factor you can see over here this has resulted in suppression of the journal impact factor so you can see that how uh, strongly there is a, a incentive to you know increase the impact factor of journals uh, like i said it has become an academic currency and everyone is just looking to increase in like majority not everyone but majority of folks in the field of science in in research are looking to just increase the impact factor and publish in high impact journals uh, which i believe has really uh, led to decrease in the quality of science that we have been doing that is my personal opinion so anyway um, I hope you got some ideas some new information from this video um um take care and bye bye also one more thing the the link to this uh impact list of impact factors some of you might want to check it out i will give you the link to this uh, excel file where all the impact factors are listed down in the description box okay thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video hey guys so i am a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is sethi sethi and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ace haiti once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right